Right, hello guys, and here's a just a very small mini update to the previous video regarding the ACM voltage controlled amplifier cloned circuit using the LM13700 OTA operational transconduction amplifier. Um, just a couple of things that I kind of missed out to mention uh, on the previous video. I'm only human. And basically, it's just to have a look at the pins that we leave unconnected, which is pins on the ace on the on the left side of the IC we leave pins seven and eight unconnected and also every other single pin on the other side apart from pin eleven which is a power pin which goes to the plus rail I believe. Um, again I've just done a little bit of toying about I've managed to get a good um CVN from the LFO a reasonable CVN so there, as you can see, I've added a 6.8K resistor. Again, don't take these values for absolute gospel. You're going to have to sort of experiment. It's all going to depend on your supply voltages, really. You could be using plus 12, minus 12, plus 9, minus 9. I think it would still work, but some of these values may have to change about. Um, so, yeah, so we have our LFO, which goes into the into this potentiometer, out this uh, front-end potentiometer here which you have as your depth control so this will be LFO depth basically and that will go into this resistor here into the emitter of that PMP BC558 transistor and meet with the envelope um, the envelope generators control voltage coming in here um, just a little thing out of, out of practice this is just about terminating the other unused op amp uh, apparently it's something to do with floating voltages etc etc I was trying to read up on it um, if you have a look at um, I think there's an article by the late Ray Wilson he kind of speaks about terminating unused op amps there's a few ways of doing it actually this may not be the best practice of doing it but this is the way I've done it and as we can see just wanted to point put something in here as a somebody in the comments mentioned kindly mentioned and suggested to me so what I've done is basically the output from the um, from the, the audio output from the op amp comes out from pin 1 and goes into the side of this um, volume potentiometer and we come out of that from the middle with our audio output and then we take the other side to ground so it should be complete silence when we I've just tried this and it works so <laughs> I haven't had any potential measures catch fire etc um, yeah and basically it's just to basically use a log logarithmic um, potentiometer as opposed to a linear taper one as this will give you a more sort of exponential response volume response as the human ear really hears things as opposed to a linear and that is about it people so yeah I should be if there is any further amendments or anything anyone can suggest out there to improve this then drop them in the comments all good I may come back with another video in the meantime I'm just trying to find the way I can actually um, post the schematic somewhere so this one can be quite available quite soon anyway take care people and if there is a change to the situation I'll definitely let you know one way or another Alright, thanks for watching, take it easy.